Hey friends, we're gonna draw a box. We're gonna make a square, another square, and attach those lines. And ooh, we're gonna do the best gift in my class at our Christian school, Lakeside Christian School. Let's get ready. If you notice, I'm gonna be working with pen. You'll probably wanna work with pencil if you're the type that needs to erase. And I'm gonna teach you how you could trace a sticky note. Let's look at this. Ooh, and trace it out. Trace out another sticky note and then attach the corners like that. All right, so that's a quick synopsis of how we're gonna do it. And then for the little baby Jesus, for the birth of Christ for Christmas, we're gonna do a circle for a head, a loop body, a little wrap, and we're gonna make an X and another X to make the manger and go across and do some hay out of there. So that is if you want the quick summary of what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna do two boxes in the time you do one. With one, I'm gonna trace a sticky note. So I'm gonna go one, and I'm gonna give you guys sticky notes, two, three, four. So this one, I'm tracing a sticky note. You gotta hold it carefully. All right, then if you have to move your sticky note and then something didn't attach, just go across. And that's the one I'm gonna do for you by sticky note. This one, I'm going, I'm eyeing it. I'm just going across and I'm doing to the best of my ability without having a sticky note showing that anyone can make a, what? A box, a gift box. We're gonna do a gift box, all right. Now your next sticky note is gonna go back. It depends which angle you want your sticky note to. We're gonna do this another again, again in another lesson. Hmm, I'm gonna probably put it about there. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Let me show you again, four. Now we're gonna do different angles of boxes in different lessons. You're gonna be getting good at doing a box. See how I always went like that? This one, I'm gonna go the other direction. You could do yours in any direction. One, two, three to the best of my ability, eyeing a box, a square and a square, a square and a square. Ooh, are you following along? I hope so, because we're done with the sticky note. Now we're going to look at the bottom and attach it to the bottom. Now, if you're the type that wants to lay a pencil there or your sticky note again and use a ruler, if you're the type that likes perfection, you can do that for a straight edge. But if, remember, I'm trying to teach you if you anchor your wrist down, and connect it like that, and then add a little shading. Ooh, some cross hatching. But add a little dimension to your box already, right? See that? All right, now we're gonna go to the other corner and connect the two corners, slowly and surely. See that? Ooh, looking already dimensional. You can guess which one to connect next? Yep, you're gonna go across, connect. Which one are you gonna connect next? You're gonna slowly connect the corners. Ooh, you just made a box. How sweet is that? Now, if you add a little bit of shading at the bottom of the box, it'll add the more dimension. Now, how do we make a box into a gift box? Some people call this a cube, like an ice cube. Let me do my other one, right, that I'm just doing without a sticky note, so you could do any size if you know how to do that. All right, next, how do we make this into a gift box? Ooh. And remember, I'm gonna show you different angles. You go to the middle of your square. All right, so around the middle, do a little dot at the bottom. Around the middle, do a little dot at the top. If you're not good at eyeing it, you can hmm, you can use a pencil and be like, okay, that's that big, that's that big, about half, to make it perfect. Then you're gonna go from the top to the bottom and do a line. Now I do a parallel line to that line, and you have a ribbon. So I'm gonna do a striped ribbon. Ooh. Are you gonna design your ribbon? When I get my colored pencils, I'm gonna do a red ribbon. Ooh. So that's one ribbon, all right, of your box. Now let's see, if I have, this is the floor of my box, I'm gonna do a ribbon across, okay, about the middle, I'm gonna do a little line there and there. Now, I don't know about you, I love ribbons on presents. Makes it look so festive and fun. So we're gonna do Christmas presents. Now I'm gonna do my stripes. We're gonna go wall by wall of our gift and we're gonna do each wall with the wrapping paper. If you want your see-through, this one is the see-through gift where we're gonna do the baby Jesus like I showed you on this one. Ooh, can you tell? That's why I did my ribbon in the back first, not on the front, because it's an open box. Open, all right? Now on this one, I'll make a total gift with you, all right? Before we finish, all right, the bottom of the box is, is the closest, so that would be the front ribbon if you're doing just a pure present. I'm going to do spots, polka dots on this ribbon. All right, so that's the front of the box, wherever it's sitting on the ground. 
next. Ooh, I thought better lighting than my classroom would be outside, but it's so bright. There we go. Gonna add the little bit of shading under the box by cross hatching, going one way and then going the other way. If I could teach you how to make cross hatching in pen, that would add a little dimension in your or a little shadow, or some of you guys like circularization and getting really good at it. All right, let's finish it. Do a dot around the middle and let's make our ribbon going this way with our spots. All right, working on our ribbon. Then we're going to make a bow on the top, okay? So I'm gonna have a, go across, see my ribbon, and make an X on the top. And now I'm gonna do a knot, a circle. Let me show you here where I'm doing the knot. A circle, a circle for the knot, okay? Then I'm gonna do a ribbon coming up and around. Let me show you up and around. All right, so that's a ribbon. Let me show you here again. So this is the knot, I'm gonna come up and around and kinda go like that. And then I'm gonna work on the other side of the ribbon, a big bow. And then I'm gonna work on the sides, coming down like a little piece of ribbon hanging. Ooh, cause I like to really decorate my boxes with ribbon, how about you? Now you got a side of the box here, you gotta have, just following that angle there, if you could follow that angle and have your ribbon go there and down, you, my friends, have a gift box. Ooh, we can design this with color pencils. I think is the best way to stay in the lines with a little ribbon. I'm gonna make my bright red or yellow, my favorite color. All right, to finish this lesson, if you're just working on the box today, you may pause it there. If you want to, my friends, work on the baby Jesus, like I said, you might wanna tune in my next lesson. You wanna do it now? All right, let's do it now for the open box. All right, the open box. I'm gonna actually turn my, uh, I'm gonna start with a circle head. I'm gonna show you the actual baby Jesus there. And I'm gonna get the shadow off of it. Here we go. And I'm gonna do a baby Jesus next to that one, okay? So I'm gonna do a circle for the head, a smiley face. I like doing a little curly cue on the hair. Ooh, fun, right? Then the body, I like doing that little stripe thing. Then I like putting them in the manger, doing a little manger. Now to do the X's where the bed is, you can make an X here, an X back there, and you could make that a little thicker wood. And now let's add the hay. All right, you have the quick, easy way. It always adds if you can add a shadow underneath. Over now from today's lesson, my friends. I'll see you in art class.